Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what is going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, the details are in my description box for my channel. And you can also email me at acescupshare at yahoo.com. Hope everyone had a good week so far. Still getting settled into my new place. Got a new futon. Got it brought in, put together. My daughter told me for Mother's Day she was going to order me three Oracle deck sets. So I'm really excited next week to get those and have some new energy coming out. Why cry for someone when you can laugh with someone else? Stop texting me. So you're not willing to deal with somebody? Because they didn't take you seriously or they didn't take your relationship seriously. So someone <clears throat> could have been trying to reach out to you or contact you. But this is someone who laughed about you behind your back. This person's trying to get close to you. But you don't want to be bothered with them. If the ex was good enough, God wouldn't have told me to love my neighbor in the reverse. So your ex could have cheated on you. <clears throat> this could have to do with an ex person. That you're not willing to deal with. Someone could be trying to get even with you. Or something is being balanced out. Someone didn't think you were hot. Too hot. Hot damn. Call the police and the fireman. Bruno Mars could be significant. Someone is dark. <clears throat> Someone was dark. Maybe they thought you were dark. That you weren't hot. Um, they could be dark. They could have thought that they were attractive. <clears throat> That could be why they were cheating on you and not taking your relationship seriously. This could be someone who is non-committal. A stitch in time saved and I nip it in the bud now. So you nip something in the bud with this person. You could have known that they were dark or had dark intentions for you or that they used their attractiveness or their appearance or their sexuality to get what they want. As always, I'm rich when I go to the dollar store. So someone may be suffering financially or you may have had to start over penny pinching. It happens. Why did the can crusher quit his job? He was so depressed. So someone could have lost their job here. This person could have blamed you for losing their job after you ended a relationship with them. Or it could have been before your relationship ended. Day in the reverse. I feel like you and this person are, or, are like night and day. You could be like opposites from each other. This person's really trying to get your attention or whatever you're doing is screaming loud and proud. Like you're just doing something. You could be doing something on your own, independent. Actions speak louder than words. So whatever you're doing, it's like screaming to the world. Fuck y'all. All y'all. If y'all don't like me, blow me. <laughs> you guys could be doing something independently on your own. Create in the reverse and care in the reverse. Cancer could be significant. <clears throat> Someone could have created a web, tried to spin a web because they didn't care about you. They were laughing at you, laughing at your problems. They didn't help you when you needed them. They kind of left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold because you realized what they were up to. Take it how it resonates. But this person didn't care about you. They didn't care about what you were creating, trying to build. This person was very good at trying to destroy you or tear you down <clears throat> mentally, physically, emotionally. But also anything that you tried to build or create, this person was like a naysayer. It's like this person would um, talk shit about you, what you wanted to do. It's like this person was not supportive of you. Something is being revealed that you're at rest, that you're at peace. <clears throat> that could be what's being made loud and proud, being screamed, you know, clearly from the rooftops it's being revealed that you're at peace you could be doing better on your own or without this person or without other people interfering in your life there's a lack of communication this person doesn't know how to communicate and you haven't been communicating with them i feel like you may not have been in communication with them or you have some sort of communication blocked <clears throat> maybe you're not interested in communicating with them because you know that they didn't care and they're just trying to tear down what you're trying to build you could have lost more when you were with this person. It's like you didn't gain anything from being with them. All you did was suffer a loss. So why would you take this person back? That doesn't even make any sense. 
Well, this person may not be good at communication either. Like, this is the kind of person that would send you, like, a meme or, like, a song on YouTube or some stupid shit like that instead of just saying their words or using their words. It's like they wanted to do the bare minimum, and that's exactly what they're getting is the bare minimum because I feel like you're not interested anymore. <clears throat> Maybe they felt like because they <clears throat> were attractive or had some sort of good looks that you would be, you know... Maybe that worked on you in the beginning before you found out who they were or what they were doing. Like I said, you could have lost a lot dealing with this person. Like you didn't gain anything by dealing with them. All they did was bring heartache and loss and pain. So why would you? You gain more by being separated from this person or doing something on your own. And something is being balanced out in your life. <clears throat> There's a reason to celebrate. There could be a celebration and gathering and get together. It could just be you celebrating. Um, I heard homecoming. Um, you know, I know I recently moved, but I know some of you are on the same timeline. Some of you could be getting a new home, moving, relocating. There's going to be a reason to celebrate or be happy. Maybe after going through a separation with this person, you needed to relocate or move. But whatever the case is, there's going to be some sort of occasion that's going to be a reason to celebrate. You're going to receive some sort of good news. Someone was not held in high honor. And you're working on getting your Ten of Pentacles or you have a Ten of Pentacles. Your financial security, long-lasting financial stability. You're working on building something for you, for your family, for whatever. Um, it doesn't matter how old you are, what age you are. This person was just a gold digger. Like I said, they just wanted to take you, use you. Um, you know, you lost when you dealt with this person because they were draining you. They could have been draining your finances, your resources. Maybe no one wanted to help you out if you were dealing with this person because they could have been shady. But this is the kind of person who likes to have a good... Um, Okay, so like out in the community, this kind of person would want people to think very highly of them, but they're not respectable. They're not someone who's held in high honor, but they want people to have a good opinion about them. They care about other people's opinions and what something looks like as opposed to what something actually is. <clears throat> they care more about appearances. They could also portray themselves to have more money or financial wealth than they actually do. They could be suffering financially or took a huge financial loss. They could have lost a job and they could blame you for it as if it as if you had anything to do with it. But they could have also been sleeping with a coworker or somebody. They could have done something shady um, like milking the clock um, could be significant or like clocking in, having someone else clock in for them. They were trying to place barriers in your path or something that has been placed in their path. Barriers, the barriers that they wanted for you has affected them. If they wanted to destroy what you were creating, something that they could have been working on or building has been destroyed. <clears throat> That's because you have a positive outcome and something is being brought to light. It's being exposed. This is causing conflict within a group. And also some sort of partnership or who someone is working with could be being exposed. There could be an investigation, spying. Someone could be looking into something. Someone's trying to find out who you're working with, who's helping you. Even if you're doing something completely on your own. Someone's in your business because they wanted to keep you trapped. This past love situation. And they're experiencing some bad luck. So they brought some bad luck upon themselves. They could have tried to have you arrested. They could have been arrested. <clears throat> they brought some bad luck upon themselves by tr trying to keep you trapped, stuck. You were stuck when you were in a relationship with this person. They wanted to stop you from moving forward because it doesn't look good for them. If they can't go around telling everyone that they did this or they did that for you, they had to help you with this, they had to pull you out of a pit, they had to save you from a jam, something like that. This person's left looking like an idiot and there's a whole group of people here that's in conflict. It could be family, it could be a group within a community, it could be coworkers. They're in conflict and they're like losing their shit trying to find out who's helping you. <clears throat> so they could have sent someone to spy and investigate you and find out, you know, like what you have going on.
And I'm going to use this as an example. That fucking futon I put together today, it took two people to load that bitch in my car. And I rolled it up the stairs, rolled it into my place, put that bitch together. That middle console was a bitch to put together, but I did it on my own. That would be like someone spying, trying to figure out, like, there's no way she could have done this on her own. She could, you know, there's just no possible way. Someone must be helping her. It's that kind of bullshit. It's because someone wanted you in poverty, but you have this new start, this new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles. It could be a new job, a new move, um, relocating, a large lump sum of money, an inheritance, something. <clears throat> someone wanted you in poverty, and you received something that pulled you up out of this pit of despair. Somebody wanted to affect your financial security, your family stability. Because you're working on your Ten of Pentacles, your financial stability is improving. That came out sideways. So you're building something, working on something. And someone worked really hard to affect your, your family stability, to put you in poverty, to keep you juggling. And this person celebrated too soon and they worked with other people or a group of people here that is now in conflict and losing their shit because you're not stuck, you're not stagnant, you're still moving forward and your financial stability is secure. And this person could not stop daydreaming about fucking your shit up, about ruining something for you because they have something to gain from it. And this could be something significant about a child, child custody case, whatever the case is. <clears throat> it could be vengeance, spiteful. This person was obsessed. They couldn't stop daydreaming about something about doing this to you. It's like they're obsessed with trying to find out who you're working with, who you're partnered up with. And they're working with somebody else because they can't do something on their own. They're assuming that you can. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter how strong you are physically, mentally, emotionally. If you're in the upright, you have the ability to persevere and keep going. And you're in your queen of swords energy. So you're thinking logical about a situation. You're not in your emotions. Um, you know, you don't mix your words. You're very clear and concise. And that's what's bringing you forth the offer that you've been waiting for. Because there's a king of cups here who's interested in you. Pisces energy. Someone could be a wealthy masculine. It doesn't have to be. The king of cups can sometimes be a business owner waiting for your ships to come in. There's a masculine here who's seeing something happen for you. If you're this queen of swords... <clears throat> Or this masculine, if you're the masculine here, you could be admiring someone's strength and courage and seeing them start from scratch, start over, rebuild something. And they're not all emotional. Like this person is very stable. Somebody refused to grow up. This dark person, this evil person who was trying to keep you in poverty, keep you stuck and stagnant, this king of pentacles energy, this gold digging ass piece of shit. There's someone here who actually admires you and would support you in what you're doing. <clears throat> this king of cups could be even witnessing this king of pentacles trying to sabotage you or something and this person's like why the fuck would they even do that like what what is their deal i'm just hearing someone like i don't know like someone's confused like what the fuck is their deal what is their problem why won't they just leave you the hell alone you could have been separated from this person for a long time and they are obsessed with watching you or stalking you or harassing you, but you healed from some sort of heartbreak. And there's someone here who could, <clears throat> could ultimately want to be in a relationship with you with the lovers here. Um, you know, uh, someone could want to be a lover, this king of cups, because they've watched you heal yourself. This could also be, I hate to say it, I really don't want to even go there, but it's also this King of Pentacles in the reverse coming back after you healed to try to snag you again, get you back so that they can screw your stuff up more. That's been coming out recently, unfortunately, but somebody was a player, King of Wands, someone wouldn't keep it in their pants and you have another, a new, another lover. A new love offer coming towards you. You have somebody who wants to be in a love situation with you. And they're going to offer you the Ace of Cups. Not the Page of Cups. Not the bare minimum. Not act immature. Not sleep around. Not cheat on you. You've healed from the past. And it could have been a very long road to get where you're at. Especially emotionally. Especially if you have a history of being like exploited or taken advantage of in relationships. Especially if you're a good hearted person. If you're a good natured person. And maybe that's why you're in your queen of swords energy. Because you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve. Even if you're emotionally balanced. 
But somebody does see you see you as their queen of cups. Like this king of cups sees love in you. Like the love, the light, the good stuff. They've seen how hard you work to heal yourself after something that you've been through with this past person. Like I said, they're not offering you the page of cups. That's what that other person wanted for you. It's like they wanted to give you the bare minimum. They wanted to cheat on you. They wanted to give you the page of cups. This king of cups here in the upright is going to give you the ace of cups. They're going to give you all the love, all the attention, everything you deserve. <clears throat> and there's a group of people here that are coming together on your behalf to support you. This could be friends, family members, even if you were doing a lot of stuff on your own. You're getting some sort of community support, whereas maybe you weren't before because somebody was a thief. Somebody was trying to steal something from you to cause an imbalance. Time, money, energy, resources. That person was a gold digger anyway. The king of pentacles in the reverse. And there's an emotional situation around the queen of swords. You were telling the truth the whole time about this person who was trying to ruin your life. And people didn't believe you. They created an injustice for you. They didn't give you the offer that you've been waiting for. And they were trying to, they were keeping secrets, hermit in the reverse. They wanted to keep you alone, isolated. They didn't want you to get the offer that you deserve, but you're getting this wand. Someone wants to give you their wand. They want to give you a gift or something that was taken is being returned to you. Something is not moving forward for this king of pentacles, but there's a king of pentacles here that does want to show back up and give you their wand. They want to give you their dick and make it all better. They think that having sex with you is going to heal everything that they've done to you. So maybe they have that Watt big package energy, but it's not worth your time. Like, you're not worried. This person was like the king of wands in the reverse. They were giving it to anyone and everyone who wanted it. It's not like they wanted to give it to you exclusively. So it's, it's like it's not special. It's like a dirty wand. It's like somebody wants to give you a used marital aid or some shit. It's like after they gave it to everyone else. Now they want to come and act like, oh, it's special if I give it to you. No, nah, bitch, you gave it to the whole community, the county, the state. Like, no. And this person is very emotional because you're not dealing with them. Their hard work didn't pay off. Something is not moving forward because they're, first of all, they weren't willing to work that hard. Let's just be honest. It was the page of cups. It was the bare minimum. They didn't appreciate you when they had the chance. They were not faithful to you. And they can't come towards you. Whatever bare minimum bullshit they're coming at you with, it's not, it's not working. They can't come towards you because they're not willing to put in any work. It's like you see them and you see, and I don't want to just say lazy because, you know, maybe like at work, maybe they're a good worker, like in an occupation, but when it comes to this relationship or at least the relationship they had with you, it's like they think you just accept anything and you know your worth, you know your value. And you have a positive outcome, and this is over. Something is over. You have a positive outcome. You have money coming towards you. It's over for this queen of pentacles, this gold digging ass bitch. And it could be a masculine and their feminine energy, or it could be, you know, either or. Someone who goes back and forth between their masculine and feminine energy, this thief. It's over for this thief. <clears throat> Judgment has been called. Balance is being restored. Justice. You are being set free from this situation, this person. They were keeping too many secrets. They were hiding the fact that they were just trying to steal something from you, rob you. You have this Ten of Cups, this divine union that's coming together. But you have to walk away from this other person. You have to make a decision, the Wheel of Fortune. You're faced with the decision to let this person come back in you, in your life in your energy and ruin everything you've worked hard for or you can choose to walk away and end up on the right side of the wheel of fortune because they are not getting an ace of pentacles whoever this person is that was keeping secrets lying hiding being sneaky from you there is no ace of pentacles there is no new start or new beginning with this person it's just not happening there's not going to be a new relationship opportunity if you want to go into the upright if you want to stay in the upright you have to walk away from this person indefinitely because if you don't, you're not going to get your new start, your new beginning, this King of Cups who's going to give you what you deserve.
It's because you're a high priestess and this person's just a flying monkey. They're just trying to sabotage you and everything you work for so they can say, see, I was right. I told you this person can't do anything on their own. They need me. They need this. They need that. They need help. They're so codependent. No, you're not. This person is literally just trying to ruin everything that you've worked hard for. But you have somebody who is going to be compassionate towards you and be your wish fulfillment and they see you as their wish fulfillment. This flying monkey had you in a third party situation. You have a positive outcome with this new relationship. Your deepest desires, wishes being fulfilled. Someone didn't want to grow. They didn't want to change. This is going to pan out with this new love offer. This person is going to give you what you deserve. And this is going to be an equal give and take. And it has nothing to do with this gold digging ass king or queen of pentacles. This king of cups is going to love you. This person, this person is not your wish fulfillment and they didn't see you as their wish fulfillment. That's why they were too busy cheating and running around on you, putting you in third party situations. <clears throat> They're not capable. This person is just not capable of giving you what you want. But because you accepted the bare minimum in the past, they think they can come back and do the same amount of work. But you have someone here that's going to be loyal to you and that has someone pissed off. Because they can't ruin your happiness, your stability, your ten of cups. Someone is pissed off. Someone who is not your wish fulfillment. Your ex is completely furious that they did not ruin your family stability and that you're going to have this new love. That someone is going to be loyal to you and care about you. <clears throat> they could have been trying to affect your confidence. They wanted you to feel bad about yourself so that you wouldn't care if they were out running around on you. Same shit, different day. Like someone's just a worthless piece of shit. Even if you're attractive, you know, you could be a knockout. Like you could be a 10. And this person still wants you to feel like shit about yourself because it makes them feel better about themselves. Because they have some issues they need to work out. Someone's desperate. They're desperate. They said that they loved you at first sight, but it was a lie. This person is very good at manipulation, especially word manipulation, and using their wand, their masculine phallic, to get what they want and to convince women to do what they want them to do. This person's pissed. They're pissing everyone off because they won't leave you alone. They could be asking questions about you, where you're going, what you're doing, what you're up to. <clears throat> there could be a lot of people there's conflict within this group within a group of people and it could even be a family setting a family that could be tired of this person's bullshit maybe they're trying to reach out to your family members or within a group of people in the community to try to talk shit about you And they're just pissing everyone off at this point. It's like, why don't you just leave this person alone? This was not true love. Someone will be passing soon. So they could have gotten some bad news about their health. Or they could have said that you passed away. That you were going to pass away. What the fuck? Or they said it was love at first sight. And they were trying to convince you that they were your true love. So that they could cause you to pass away. And they could just take everything that you own. Because this is a gold digger. The king of pentacles. King or queen of pentacles in the reverse. And they were being very two-faced. They wanted you to give up on your dreams. And they're secretly watching. That flipped over as well. So they wanted you to give up on your dreams. They tried to ruin what you were working hard for. That way if you just disappeared. No one would miss you or go looking for you. They could just say. Oh well something didn't work out for them. They just couldn't take it anymore. They just opted out. You know what I mean. They unalived themselves. But that's not what's happening. Or that's not what did happen. <clears throat> You're still alive. You're still breathing. You're still good. You're still going forward. There's someone here that you really don't know. Your soulmate. Maybe you don't know your soulmate. Your real soulmate. You ha Maybe you haven't met them yet. Maybe you haven't gone on a date with them yet. This person was so busy trying to convince you that they were everything that you wanted, everything you hoped for, but they didn't give you anything and you know this. If you've been away from this person for any length of time, you realize that they're not capable of giving you what you need. Your love language, and it's not even just about love language. Like you could have different love language, a different love language than this person. 
Um, but like they think that just slipping you the D once in a while is going to keep you happy and satisfied. But like I said, they're giving you a dirty D. They're giving it to everyone else. So there's nothing special about it. This person had a sex addiction. There is some sort of investigation going on regarding a father or son. I can't see you. So there's a father or son who could have said something or did something to spark some sort of investigation. This could have to do with your child. This could in involve like CPS or law enforcement. This person could have done something illegal to you about your, fin you know, regarding your financial stability, your family security. Like someone really wanted to see you fail so that they would gain something from this. And some of you, for some of you, this is like the, the mother or father of your child that you're not interested in seeing. This person could come crawling back to you. Maybe they thought you were you would come crawling back to them, but they betrayed you. <clears throat> so this person betrayed you. Your father or son betrayed you. Now they're looking at your photo, wishing they didn't fuck something up. But it's too little, too late. They already did. Now this person is anxious because you don't want anything to do with them. And they could also be anxious because law enforcement could be getting involved. They went broke. They wanted you to be broke. They wanted you broke. Busted, disgusted, nasty. They wanted people to look at you like you were the scum of the earth. And they're still trying to trap you up. They're just trying to build a better mousetrap. This person is going to have to eat their words. There's something significant about June. So your baby daddy, your baby mama could have a birthday in June or something significant happened in June or something is going to happen in June because they wanted you to go broke. By June, this person may have to eat their words because they're trying to trap you up. And to be more specific, on a Thursday in June. Past June or in the future, on Ju by June, someone's going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place and they're scared. Afraid of his or her own shadow fell out, but it fell on the floor and now I have to find it. <clears throat> So someone's going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place for trying to trap you up. And they're afraid of this. This is like their worst nightmare. They were afraid that they would get caught doing something. Because if you got stable, if your finances are good, if you have a stable home, if you're a loving and caring parent, then you may be in a position to take some sort of action for the illegal shit that this person did to you. If they lied on you in court or did something shady um, this could be the kind of person that said, oh, well, this person's homeless. They're not capable of taking care of their kids, something like that. You're a horrible parent. Um, now they could be ending up homeless or, you know, um, they don't have a good place to live or something like that. And they were afraid of this backfiring on them. Well, then they shouldn't have done it in the first place, right? There's something significant about November. Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and April. And in the next 24 to 48 hours with a Virgo. So something significant could be happening <clears throat> in November with an earth sign. And something significant about April. So someone's birthday could be in April or because of something that somebody did in April. Something could be happening in the next 24 to 48 hours with a Virgo. Maybe somebody rejected you. They turned their back on you. They could be showing up or somebody wants to offer you an apology. And this could be more than one baby daddy. Like, I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about that. I'm just saying, um, you know, maybe if you have um, children by different exes, um, there could be more than one ex involved in this. So for some of you, there could be two um, exes or a parent, you know, like baby mama, baby daddy. But you're going to have your moment of truth, moment of glory. That's near future energy. Now near future, you're having your moment of truth, your moment of glory. You're proving to the world that you are not a piece of shit, that you are who you say you are, and that you know how to make the best out of a bad situation. That's why you're coming up out of it. And for some of you, you're going to rags from rags to riches, and that is bringing this tower moment because this was very unexpected. Something was too tough, a tough road to hoe. Somebody was too busy being a hoe. Man or a woman, does not matter. Someone was too busy being a hoe, giving it to whomever, whatever. <clears throat> Meanwhile, you just kept chugging along, the little engine that could. 
And that's why you're about to get this money or this payday, this new beginning, this ivory tower that's about to cause everything to collapse for these people who are working against you because someone got caught red-handed. That's why there could be something significant happening in the next 24 to 48 hours. Someone got caught doing some shady shit and you get this clean slate and this other person, they're not going to be able to breathe a sigh of relief. They can't and they're not a good kind soul. Every dog has its day. This person is a clout chaser, attention whore. This person needs to be the victim in everything. It's really sad. An Aries could be getting a clean slate, a new beginning, or it could be an Aries, a fire sign who's getting caught red-handed, taking it how it resonates, depending on if you're on the upright or not. March, someone loved and lost you. So someone loved and lost someone who could be a Pisces, Aries, or someone lost someone in March. They blew it. They fumbled it, but this person wasn't good anyway. They were not a good, kind soul. On Saturday, so Saturday in March is significant. Someone fucked up and lost you for good. <clears throat> or they're going to somebody wanted you to start from scratch over and over and over again and they were trying to control you under his or her thumb this person is a control freak and they have given themselves the kiss of death and this could be the kiss of death to their freedom their finances their money um, to them being able to interfere in your energy, your life, your situation, whatever you have going on, there is a kiss of death here. There is a permanent ending coming and this person got caught doing whatever this is to you in the justice system. So there's going to be something in the justice system that's going to put a permanent ending to something. This could be, like I said, a child custody case. Someone could be going to jail, getting locked up, going to prison. Someone's trying to Get creative. Think outside the box. Someone's trying to figure out how to stop this from happening because they're getting arrested. A Scorpio. Scorpio could be getting arrested. They're trying to figure out how to get out of this. Oh, you, you could have a Virgo that's trying to come back to you and approach you. Virgo's been really heavy in this reading. On a Thursday, so there's something significant involving a Virgo. Someone spilled the beans. So a Scorpio could have been trying to involve a Virgo in their bullshit. So like I said, if you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. If you have two, you know, like baby mama, baby daddies, whatever. You could have one that was like a Scorpio um, and then one that was like a Virgo and the Scorpio was trying to get creative on how to do something, get people to gang up on you, like a rally and cry, whatever bullshit this is. Um, like if you have one shady ass motherfucking ex, they could be trying to get together with your other exes to try to cause you pain, suffering problems. Like this person doesn't deserve their children and you shouldn't allow them either. Or you're a piece of shit. Like this person is just full of drama. So they acted like they had some sort of information or intel on you. A Gemini could be significant. This person is as ugly as sin and they were chomping at the bit. They wouldn't stop. A broken record. It's over. They were trying to stop you from entering the cycle, but the cycle with them is over. It's broken. It's done. You've already started this cycle. If you have walked away from this person. <clears throat> All right. Person, place, or thing. G could be significant. T. Mm. Someone could have a Mustang GT. I heard GT Cruiser, PT Cruiser, T. TT, Tatiana. Talia, Talisha, Alicia. L, Alicia, Alicia. A, Letitia. Another L. Tattletale. Someone's someone's a tattletale. What the fuck? I. <laughs> Someone is a tattletale. Tailgating could be significant. You could be getting ready to tailgate. S sailing. Someone could have a boat. You could be getting ready to go on a boat, go sailing. This person could be pissed off maybe because you ended up or you're going to end or end, end up with someone who like has a boat or something like that. S. So we have two S's and then a Z. And we'll do two more. Q. 
Quetzal, 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 and oh, Susie Q could be, someone could call someone Susie Q, like you're my little Susie Q, like maybe that's a pet name where someone just likes to eat Susie Q's, but um, I heard that someone likes to call someone Susie Q, like you're my little Susie Q. Or like you're my little Debbie cake or something like that. Like somebody has like a snack cake or something for a nickname. G T T L S A I L S Z Q O. I hope this helps. Have a good day.